What is the Great White Throne Judgment? We're going to answer that question. You can also discover more on GodQuestions.org. The Great White Throne Judgment is the final judgment prior to the lost being cast into the lake of fire. This judgment will take place after the millennium and after Satan is thrown into the lake of fire where the beast and the false prophet are. The books that are opened contain records of everyone's deeds, whether they are good or evil, because God knows everything and he will reward or punish each one accordingly. Also at this time, another book is opened called the Book of Life. It is this book that determines whether a person will inherit eternal life with God or receive everlasting punishment in the lake of fire. Although Christians are held accountable for their actions, they are forgiven in Christ and their names were written in the Book of Life from the creation of the world. It is at this judgment when the dead will be judged according to what they had done and that anyone's name that is not found written in the Book of Life will be thrown into the lake of fire. The fact that there is going to be a final judgment for all men, both believers and unbelievers, is clearly confirmed in many passages of scripture. Each person will one day stand before Christ and be judged for his or her deeds. While it is very clear that the great white throne judgment is the final judgment, Christians disagree on who specifically will be judged here. Some Christians believe that the scriptures reveal three different judgments to come. The first is the judgment of the sheep and the goats, or a judgment of the nations. This takes place after the tribulation period, but prior to the millennium. Its purpose is to determine who will enter the millennial kingdom. The second is often referred to as the judgment seat of Christ, at which Christians will receive degrees of reward for their works or service to God. The third is the great white throne judgment at the end of the millennium. This is the judgment of unbelievers, where they're judged and sentenced to everlasting punishment in the lake of fire. Other Christians believe that all three of these judgments speak of the same final judgment, not of three separate judgments. In other words, the great white throne judgment will be the time that believers and unbelievers alike are judged. Those whose names are found in the book of life will be judged for their deeds in order to determine the rewards they will receive or lose. Those whose names are not in the book of life will be judged according to their deeds to determine the degree of punishment they will receive in the lake of fire. Those who hold this view believe Matthew 25, 31 through 46 is another description of the same result of what is seen after the great white throne judgment in Revelation 20, 11 through 15. The sheep, believers, enter into eternal life, while the goats, unbelievers, are cast into eternal punishment. Whichever view one holds of the great white throne judgment, it is important to never lose sight of the facts concerning the coming judgments. First, Jesus Christ will be the judge. All unbelievers will be judged by Christ, and they will be punished according to the works they have done. The Bible is very clear that unbelievers are storing up wrath against themselves and that God will give to each person according to what he has done. Believers will also be judged by Christ, but since Christ's righteousness has been imputed to us and our names are written in the book of life, we will be rewarded but not punished according to our deeds. Romans says that we will all stand before the judgment seat of Christ and that each one of us will give an account to God. That answers the question, what is the Great White Throne Judgment? On our website, gotquestions.org, you'll find a deeper discussion and recommended resources. If this helped you, give us a thumbs up and click subscribe. Meanwhile, if you'd like to study more, click that bell and check out these other questions.